Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, the voters of our city spoke. And they put us on the top of the ballot. Throughout this campaign, my opponents have made this election about me. They ran their negative attack ads. They bashed us in the public. But this campaign, for me, was never about me. That's because it was about you. This campaign and our administration has always been about the people of Fall River. been about the single mother who has to sacrifice spending time with her children to work the double. It's been about the senior citizen who's in fear of going out after the street lights come on. It's been about the factory worker that through no fault of their own lost their job. And it's about the high school graduate who is unsure if there'll be a job for him when he graduates from college. I love you. Over the last nine months, our opponents threw everything at us but the kitchen sink. And from now until November, I expect one of them to even throw that at us. But our administration doesn't quit. Our campaign doesn't quit. And although we got a first place finish tonight, tonight, the election begins. Over the last year and a half, our administration has been working very hard to move our city forward. We've been working hard to create jobs. We've been working hard to improve education. We've been working hard to enhance public safety. But even though we've made improvements over the last year and a half, I am still not satisfied and recognize more work has to be done. And by working together, more work will be done and will continue to move our city forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And tonight, I am the mayor of those who voted for me and those who did not. And tonight, I call for unity in our city, an opportunity to bring everybody together, to work together. I care about Fall River and I care about its people. And every day that I wake up, I always give it 100% of my efforts to make Fall River a better place to live. And for, we're gonna to continue to work to get that done. <laughs> but, once we exit the hall here tonight, we get back to work. There's still people in our city who are without a job. There's still students in our educational system who aren't graduating from high school. There's still victims in our community of crime. And we gotta do everything we can to continue to improve the quality of life for the people of our community, and I need your help to do it. We cannot let this message of hope die within these four walls here tonight. From now until November, we're gonna do everything we can. And we've all worked hard over these last nine months. But I'm gonna ask you to work a little harder. I'm gonna ask you to give a few more hours. 
I'm going to ask you to make a few more calls. I'm going to ask that you knock on a few more doors. I'm going to ask that you talk to a few more people. And I'm going to ask that you even talk to people who may not even agree with us. Because what we need to do is to continue, to continue to move our city forward. And over the last year and a half, while other cities and towns were slashing education and slashing public safety, we were building back our city. We were putting police officers back on the streets. We were restaffing our fire department. We've seen our graduation rate increase and our dropout rate decrease. And no one person is responsible for that. It's a community. It's a community that is responsible for that. It's going to be a community that keeps to move our city forward. And from now until November, we will be on to victory, and it's going to be with your help. I want to thank all of you being here for tonight. The real work begins now. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the city of Fall River. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I knew you were going to Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the voters of Fall River for coming out and supporting me in a, in a very strong way. Uh, we're very excited by what we've received by way of encouragement and vote totals, and we look forward to November election.